go just into the town and say there's an old house, and there's an old house, and there's an old house. I want to give you a survey first, and therefore I brought this picture. And you see, Bacharach was a rich town. Therefore, the wall around the whole town, beginning up there at the castle, now it's a youth hostel. The first groups of Rick Steve stayed up there at the youth hostel. You had to climb up and stay, <laughs> prefer your hotels here. And then the wall went down to the bank of the Rhine and followed the Rhine. We are just standing, I colored two towers in your picture. This is your hotel, Kranenturm. You see a floating crane on top of the Rhine, and the, the, the crane loaded and unloaded the kegs of wine. It was just there, where the rails are now. This was the bank of the Rhine. You see? We are just standing here on top of the wall. Yeah? And then the wall climbed up to the mountain, went down to the bottom of the valley again, climbed up to the castle, surrounded by a fortification. We had 16 towers. One of the towers is your hotel. And it also was a big town, and you will smile and say these few houses couldn't have been a big town. We have 1,000 residents nowadays, we are a small village, but the middle town we had 3,000. And you will smile and say 3,000 residents isn't a big town. But at that time all the towns were smaller. Even Frankfurt had 15,000 residents. And so Bahar with three was the fifth of Frankfurt. And Frankfurt is in a flat country, it couldn't enlarge. Bahar couldn't enlarge because all these towns along the Rhine have a shape of a T. One line of houses along the Rhine and one line of houses into the side valley, like a T. This is my house, you see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and last year I had fourth graders and they said, turn around, turn around. I didn't know why I should turn around. And I turned around the picture. Now you have a T. <laughs> so all these towns along the Rhine have that shape and couldn't become bigger. State small towns, yeah? like a T. On the right side there are vineyards. The sun is shining on the vineyards. And therefore the wine is that good. On the left side there is no sunbeam at all. We have no sunshine during the winter. The horizon is so high, the sun is rising beyond the horizon, stays beyond the horizon, and goes down beyond the horizon. One month, two months, no sunshine, because the valley is very narrow. And so Baja stayed a small town. And it also was a famous town, because we were once the capital of the Holy Roman Empire. That isn't a complete lie. Eight, 800 years ago, there was an emperor with a red beard, Baba Rosa, and he went to the crusade to Palestine, and while he was in the crusade, he couldn't go to Germany. Therefore, he asked his brother, who was on our castle here in Bacharach, while I'm on the crusade, you may rule the Holy Roman Empire. You will go to Rome later on, and when you are in Rome, you should remember, Bacharach was one of the capital for two years only. Yeah? Wow. Yeah, and... Um, he also was elected you. That means he had the right to elect the kings and the emperors. You have the right to vote for Obama or the other one. At that time, there were seven of them who had the right to elect the kings and the emperors. This was the Archbishop of Cologne, the Archbishop of Trier, the Archbishop of Mainz, and the elected duke from Palatinate on our castle. And therefore, a German emperor was elected here in Bacharach. Another had its marriage. Charles IV, who founded the first German university in Prague, had its marriage here, yeah? and so Bacha was a famous town too. Yeah? This was a kind of skeleton, Bacha, a rich town, a rich town. famous town. <laughs> Will you repeat? Bacha was a rich, rich town, town, famous town. town. Famous. Good, okay, okay. <laughs> you were good in school, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Now you have a survey. And this is showing Bacha at uh, during the Thirty Years' War. And it is said it was a religious war, but it wasn't. You see, this the Protestant Swedish, look here, the animals, yeah? They did the enemies. They helped the Protestant Germans, and the Catholic Spanish helped the Catholic Germans, and the Catholic French helped the Protestant Germans. It wasn't a relig a religious, a religious war, yeah? And after that war, Germany didn't exist any longer. Half of the population died away by the war and by the plague. Baja was occupied eight times during the Thirty Years. Yeah. And then 200 years, no Germany any longer. And when Bismarck in 1870 founded Germany again and said, hello, we are back again, <laughs> it didn't become so nice, you know the story, yeah? Oh. Yeah, so much about the war, of the Thirty Years' War.